Yeah, I missed I missed that music, the uh, dynamics. I wish. Yeah. Well, see, you can't play dynamics if you play it too loud. But you have a way to, to go up and cut you already up. That's the same way when you're playing with brushes. How can you play brushes if you have always learned how to play sticks? You don't know what a brush is. You, you can't, a drummer can't hear himself that song. Mm-hmm. If he's always played with sticks. And he can't have no touch if he never played with a mallet. A mallet has a muffled sound. And you can't play if you never heard that sound before. So you got, that's what, uh, you know, why, by learning a little more about your drum, you got to know what each sound is and how to muffle it and tone it down. Mm-hmm. That's what tone is. To hear the sounds and the beats and the different things. And, uh, to make the music blend, you're a drummer, so you got to blend with the music. You just don't sit up there and get some sticks, bang, ding, bang, bang. That don't be nothing. Mm-hmm. A blending drummer is a hell of a drummer. That's why Max and Blakey and all of them, man, they sound so beautiful when they play this stuff, because they blend what they play. That's right. Yeah, well, you too. I mean, you were... Well, Thank you. A master at that. Sure. Well, I, well, you know, I, I appreciate good drummers myself. I appreciate them. And, and I, I can say for a fact, I saw Blakey and I saw Art, uh, I saw Art Blakey, I saw Max Rhodes, I seen Gene Cooper, I seen Buddy Rich, and, uh, the, the, I mean, the, the big, big drummers that I know and I've seen them work and I'm, and I notice what they do. They don't just sit up there and just to be kicking and playing. They be playing and kicking, but they be blending. Joe Joe, my God. Yeah. Oh, you know, all them cozy cold. And like a slam stood the moment. You know, all them guys, man, that, uh, I mean, with whatever you play, they blend what they do. Mm-hmm. They don't just sit there and just, just uh, kick on a box or something. When you're playing, are uh, you thinking, just strictly rhythmically, or are you thinking melodically too? Melodically, all of that. Yeah. That's, I think, what separates good drummers from bad drummers too, you know? Yeah, that's right. So you got, uh, if you have, if you have a more idea, uh, you have a more rounded idea of music, in other words, not always to listen to just one type, you have a better, uh, conception of sound. Right. Because you heard soft, you heard uh, loud, you heard all different types of different rhythm patterns, beats, and things like that. You got a much greater uh, store of music there in you. Mm-hmm. Then you, then you can uh, adapt what you learn mm-hmm. if you, uh, you know, if you uh, well uh, positioned enough to whatever you be playing. See, because uh, if you hear some jazz too, the guys be playing and all of a sudden the drummer come out of come out of real bag and say, Wow man, ain't that great? Then you be one and say, Well, I didn't know well I didn't know where it comes from. Then you stop thinking, Well, that came from uh uh Chicago or that came from the what blah blah whatever it is. It came from that song. It's music. You can use it because you know what you're doing and you know how to put it in. And a drummer never gets out front. You play in a band, the drummer stays behind everybody. Mm-hmm. Just like a, you like when you own the, uh, you're in the army, got somebody to back you up all the time. See, you got the, uh, the guys go out there, the scouts go out in the front. Well, the guy has some rear guard. But the rear guard is your drummer. He takes care of the rear. Okay, well, that, that's where he at. Yeah. And the very, and when the rear guard gets up the front, that fires up the whole thing. Right. You get back there and you kick. You don't, don't never say it. A drummer should be always, uh, uh, respected. If you're a good drummer, a drummer should be respected and, and recognized. Cause he has a, he has one of the hardest jobs in the band. Cause he's got to keep everybody together. He's got to, pull everything together and tighten it up and then push it out there so it sounds nice. 